welcome back to Home Sweet Home Cooking. I am your host, Rocky, in my mother's kitchen. Whose kitchen is this? Mine. That's my mom. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Today, we are going to do, we've done this recipe before, but we did it with a different recipe. And this one's better. Yes. Uh, we, I like the other one. It's just different than what I grew up on. This is the one that I grew up on. And this is a German potato salad. It's a hot, tangy potato salad. Uh, not hot spicy, but it's served hot, not cold. So what I have here is a bunch of potatoes. I'm going to give you the, the amounts in the recipe. Follow, they're going to be down in the, the description below. But I am making kind of a, a two batch, a little more than two batch. So when I read off these ingredients that you know looks more, I'm just going to give you the amounts for a single batch. For a single batch, it is four cups of potatoes boiled uh, in their jackets. When they're done, you can leave them in their jackets, the skins, and just chop them up. Or you can peel them off and dice them up to bite-sized pieces. To that, you want to fry off six to eight slices of bacon, and you want to fry it off till it's crisp. I've got it crisp, mostly crisp, but we use more than uh, six to eight. Would have been twelve to what sixteen? I think we used a little more. Now we used a whole pound, uh, minus what my mom saved for the beans later. Um, so I'm gonna have to soak a little bit of this fat off because you're going to use the fat for the rest of the recipe. But right now I'm trying to get the fat off of the bacon, shaking it off because I said I want that fat kind of controlled. And uh, make it as crisp as you want. You can go a little bit darker brown because you're going to be adding a uh, liquid to this, a sauce, and it's going to soften up the crisp bacon. So if you go over crisp, that's fine. Don't think it's burnt. Um, as long as it's not burnt burnt, you're good. So that should be good. Get that off of there. And now, I'm going to suck up just a wee bit of this bacon fat. Or try to anyway. Maybe just a tad bit more. And I'm actually making apple pie. Yeah, she's uh, we did pie filling that we froze, and she's just turning that into pie for uh, for the get together tomorrow. Makes it real easy. Okay, so bacon's drained off. I got some of the fat out. Now, now if you're just doing six to eight strips of bacon, you don't have to drain anything off. Uh, to that, you're going to add one medium or one large onion, and you're going to cook that for one minute. I'm going to bump my heat up here again. You don't want to brown it. You're not caramelizing the onion. You're just kind of getting a little bit soft. So I'm going to get this cooked for a minute and uh, soften them up, and then we'll be back. The onions have become somewhat translucent. They are softened up a little bit. You don't want to go too far with them. You want them to kind of be in the salad, potato salad. You want another onion in there. And to that, you're going to add one tablespoon of flour, one quarter teaspoon of salt, one eighth teaspoon of black pepper. And to that, and I'm going to give this a little stir in here, kind of get the flour coated in the oil, almost like making a roux where you want to get that flour incorporated. So that's going to be your thickening agent for the, the, the sauce. Alright, it's mixed in. To that is going to be one half cup of white vinegar, one cup of water, One quarter cup, a scant quarter cup of sugar, one teaspoon of chopped parsley, and one half teaspoon of celery seed or celery salt. And I'm going to give that a stir. I'm going to bring this up to a simmer, well, to a boil. And then when it comes to a boil, we're going to add its potatoes. So we'll be back when this comes up to a boil. Alright, it has come up to a boil, so I'm going to go ahead and shut the power off. I'm going to grab me 
one of my silicone hot pads, two of them actually. And give this a pour over the potatoes and the bacon. Pouring away from me to make sure I don't get burned. It had thickened up a little bit, so that's exactly what you wanted. And I'm just going to give it a stir into the potatoes, get the bacon and the, the sauce mixed on everything. And now you want to let this sit for at least an hour. If you want to do this and put it in a crock pot and just have it simmering on low so it stays warm, you can serve it within, like in an hour. For us, we're not going to serve this till tomorrow. We're making a day in advance. And um, it's going to get all these flavors are going to soak into the potatoes and it's going to be delicious. Uh, you just want to reheat it before serving because, like I said, this is a hot served potato salad. If you have a Tupperware that's got a good sealing lid that you can turn it upside down in the refrigerator, go ahead and turn it a few times. We're probably going to have to stir this a couple times uh, today yet and uh, maybe tomorrow morning uh, a couple times just to make sure that that gets mixed through. And it's always better overnight. Yeah, the longer you let it well, not the longer. I mean, you don't want to let it sit a week, but Why not? Um, you definitely want to let it sit for a couple hours. It would never be in our house for a week, ever. Right? Mm -mm. That's really good. Um, I say let it sit, and you're done. And um, it's sweet because of the sugar. It's tangy because of the vinegar. I can taste the celery seed, and it's um, the bacon is in there, of course. And it's it's and oniony. All those flavors are there. It's a really good German potato salad. Great for picnics, great for comfort food for me because this is one of the things that mom used to make when I was a kid that I remember. So I think for me that's a comfort food, but give it a try. Uh, I'm gonna go back and link the old one to this so you can check out the two, the differences between the two and see which one you like. If you have your own style of a hot served German style potato salad, please put the recipe down below in the comments. I'd love to see another one, maybe give that a try. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you check out another video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.